intentional about her audience and who's coming to see her shows and who people say don't come to shows. And so there was a project that we worked on. Uh, it's a two people play. She plays herself and I play like 10 characters around her. It was really great, but she, I think was being told that Hmong people don't come to shows. So she got grant money and she created this show all in Hmong with translation on headphones for non-Hmong speaking folks. And in the way that she wrote a grant, she wanted it to be accessible to people so that people wouldn't have to pay a lot of money to come see the show. And so not only through the language and intention, being intentional about the language, um, the financial access to the show, um, where we were gonna do the show, some place where people were familiar. Um, she's inviting folks and making it really accessible to people who traditionally don't come see theater. And they do come see theater. If it was accessible to them, they would be there. And we had a huge turnout and great response from the community. She creates conferences and community organizations and writers workshops in order to engage and nurture uh, young artists. The things that she does and what she has to say and what she writes, she's such a hardcore badass. Like, she's amazing. <laughs> And she's funny and she's approachable and accessible, but she's hardcore. Like she knows who she is, she knows what she wants, she knows the artist community and she knows how to work it and she's doing amazing, great things and we're so lucky to have her here with us in the Twin Cities.